Today we are talking about all that is new for the 2023 Subaru Crosstrek. Now behind me I have a 2022, but in today's video I'm going to be talking about what is new and what is coming for the new model year. If you are unaware, the 2023 Subaru Crosstrek was just released and orders just opened up this past week. Options are very limited, just like everything else in this world. And to give you an idea, for our August allocation, we have two left available. And for September, we have eight left available. I've never asked here on the channel, but if you guys are local to us or close enough to Louisville, Kentucky, where it would make sense for you to travel to Bachman Subaru to purchase a vehicle, I'd be happy to work with you on any of our Subaru models, including the Crosstrek. So if you are interested in that, feel free to reach out to me through my email in the description below. If you are new to my channel, my name is Alex. I like to share weekly videos all on Subarus, everything you need to know, including tips and tricks. So if that interests you, then please consider clicking that subscribe button down below. Comment below with any questions you have. And if you guys learn something new and get value out of this video, I'd greatly appreciate it if you click the like button. For 2023, the Subaru Crosstrek is getting a new trim level called the Premium Special Edition. So this is very similar to the Premium trim that is currently offered, but it has a few exclusive features that are only offered on the Special Edition. Starting out, the color is exclusive to the Special Edition, and that is called Desert Khaki. This color was previously offered in previous years, but they did away with it and they now have brought it back. I do wish that Subaru would offer the Desert Khaki and some of the other options, maybe like an Outback Onyx edition. I really think that the khaki with the black appearance package looks really good. But anyways, that's not my decision to make. Hopefully those changes will be made in the future. But as of right now, I am happy to see that this is at least being offered again on the Crosstrek. The wheels on the Desert Khaki Premium Special Edition are going to be 17 inch alloy wheels, very similar to this one right here, but they are going to be painted the dark gray, which appears to be the exact same, or at least very similar to what is currently offered on the Crosstrek Sport. Moving around to the front of the Crosstrek, unlike this one, which has the aluminum brush inserts on the front grille, for the premium special edition Crosstrek, we are going to see black wings on the grille inserts. It's hard to tell when looking at this Crosstrek because it has a black mirror cap as a standard. All the base model Crosstreks have a black plastic mirror cap as well as the base model Imprezas like we see over there. But typically all the other trim levels on Subarus have the body color matched mirror just like this Ascent. So when it's got a blue body, it'll have a blue mirror. And same thing for the Crosstrek. If this was a, a different trim level, it would have the color matched mirror. For the premium special edition, it is going to have that dark gray or black mirror that we see continuing on with the black appearance package. Unlike on the back of this Subaru Crosstrek, which has the chrome badges, the premium special edition will have the dark gray, almost black colored badges to give you contrast between the badge and that khaki colored exterior paint. We're also going to get black door handles on the special edition. So even though the body color is going to be the desert khaki, the door handles will be black. The Subaru Crosstrek is typically offered in either a cloth or leather upholstery interior. This one right here is a base model. So it has the black cloth with no color stitching. When you look at other Crosstrek trim levels, they're unique in that they've always offered some sort of color here. So for all of the trim levels except for the base and the Sport, they have an orange stitching right here. And for the Sport, they have that lime greenish tint stitching. And then for the new Crosstrek Premium Special Edition, it is going to have red stitching with leatherette or synthetic leather side bolsters on the sides of the seat. So the center will be cloth and on the side bolsters right here and there, you will have that leather wrap material. The premium special edition is also going to have a leather wrapped steering wheel with red stitching to continue the red characteristics on the inside of the car. Over to the right, our touchscreen display is going to be the eight inch touchscreen display instead of the six and a half that we see right here. So this is a six and a half inch screen on the special edition. It is going to come all the way out to the edge, just like the Crosstrek Limited has. This is another Crosstrek we have with the eight inch display. So as you can see, it comes out much further 
almost to the edges here. So we've talked about some of the highlights for the 2023 Crosstrek Premium Special Edition and what it comes with, but we haven't talked about what it doesn't come with. And that is something that I think is very important to share with people because this could be a differentiating factor between whether or not you go with the special edition or opt for another trim level. And I have to say, I am a little disappointed that Subaru excluded some of these options from the special edition because I do really love the Desert Khaki. And if I were to consider the Crosstrek for myself, I would most certainly want to go with the Desert Khaki color, but I would also not be willing to forego some of the features that they've excluded. So starting with the interior, I would love to see the leather interior offered in the special edition. Unfortunately, they are not offering it in the special edition. Not sure why, but that is something that I wish that they would offer because I do prefer the leather interior. It's easier to keep clean and I do just like it all around more. The other thing that they excluded from the special edition is the option to add blind spot detection. So I'll turn this on so you can see what it looks like. It lights up orange on your mirror caps on either side when you have somebody behind you. That blind spot detection is not even an option on the new premium special edition. However, if you go with the 2023 premium, the non-special edition, so the premium which has been offered in previous years, you will have the option to add the blind spot detection. One thing I do like that is standard on the special edition is the CVT automatic transmission. So most people are gonna be perfectly happy with that, but there is still a small portion of people who want the option for a manual transmission. And unfortunately, you cannot get the manual transmission in the premium special edition. However, you can still get it on the base model and on the premium regular trim. The last thing they excluded from the premium special edition is the keyless entry with push button start. And the reason why this is a big deal breaker for me is because this, once you get used to it, it's super convenient being able to lock your doors just by putting your finger there or unlocking your doors by putting your hand on the inside of the handle like this. Plus, whenever you hop in, you don't have to fool with getting the keys out of your pocket. You can just click the push button start and it fires right up. The power moonroof that we see in this Crosstrek is not even an option on the premium special edition, which for me personally, I could carry less because as you can tell, I can get sunburnt very easily. And so the power moonroof is not something that I prefer to have. I almost forgot to mention, but the premium special edition also comes standard with this two liter four cylinder engine while the Sport and the Limited are still the only trim levels currently offered on the Crosstrek with the 2.5 liter four cylinder. So it's not a huge difference. It's only about 30 horsepower difference. However, this could be a deal breaker for some people who want or have the necessity for that 2.5 liter. If the new premium special edition doesn't quite do it for you, Subaru does make other great color options such as this Cool gray khaki, which is my second favorite offered right now, something that I also wish they would offer on the other Subaru models. But you can get this on a Sport or Limited that has the 2.5 liter engine as a standard, the moonroof package, the blind spot detection, leather interior, you name it, you can get that on the higher trim levels as well. This cool gray khaki is also an excellent color option if you go with the Sport trim as well, because I think that the dark gray wheels and mirror caps, front grille insert, and the Subaru badging really sets it off. Some other key features to know on Subaru Crosstrex in general is that they have 8.7 inches of ground clearance. That is the exact same as the Subaru Forester, the Outback, and the Subaru Ascent. So although it has a smaller body, it still has the same ground clearance for when you are taking it off-road or going hiking, wherever it may be. For those who like to camp, the roof rails have a static load limit of 700 pounds. So this will fit a tent and two people typically comfortably up on top if you are going to go camping and put a tent on top. Although none of the Subarus come standard with a tow hitch, you do have the ability to add a tow hitch on here, which people oftentimes do for their bike rack setups, or if they do wanna tow something small because these do have 1,500 pounds of towing capacity. 
For the price on the 2023 Subaru Crosstrek, you can expect to pay somewhere in the mid 20s for a lower trim level and somewhere in the low 30s for the highest limited trim level. For the new premium special edition, I just priced it out today and with destination and delivery, the MSRP comes in at $27,000. $970. Now, of course, if you add additional accessories or options to the car, this could increase the price, but that gives you a good starting baseline when shopping for your new Subaru Crosstrek. So that covers it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to click the like button. Reach out to me with any questions you have in the comment section below. I hope you have a great day and I will see you in the next one.